today is our last day in Dublin and it's drizzly and rainy but we're gonna do a nice walkabout no matter what we are now at the spire and just behind there is the GPO and we're gonna to walk towards the river now Just going across the Happiny Bridge. And we're going to go on the other side. So that is the south side of the river. And that is the north side. And we are staying on the north side. Whoosh! Oh, it's windy. Got one of these locks on the bridge. Look, it's a love. over the bridge and this goes through to the Temple Bar region which is where all the bars it's the Temple Bar area where there's lots of bars and restaurants and in the evenings it gets pretty rowdy here The temple bar. Yeah. Mm. Happy New Year! It's January the twelfth. So we've come in for breakfast yeah. at Bishop Brothers, yeah. Brothers, and they're all smoked salmon breakfast, smoked haddock breakfast, mini breakfast, full breakfast. So this is our breakfast in Dublin on our last day. Scrambled eggs, smoked salmon and some potatoes and I wanted to see what they actually taste like. So let's have a taste. So that is the potato. Mmm, nicely seasoned. I wasn't sure what they'd be like. And toast. Mmm, it's a nice breakfast, nice and mm. Yeah, okay. dressed my toast up with smoked salmon and scrambled eggs that's so pretty the Olympia theatre ah. hello hello it is and we just had breakfast here at Bischoff I'm Brothers oh they've got number you one for fish and chips I'm, I'm Joe. you're right full breakfast here so it's a fish and chip shop oh we need to cross this road to go to the castle it's a fish and chip shop that does breakfast as well. That's nice, isn't it? Olympia Theatre. That is City Hall over there. And we are going to walk through there and take a look around Dublin Castle. And this is the pedestrian entrance. I think it's still a bit of a walk to actually get to the castle. There's Dublin Castle. You are here. Okay. We are there. We are there. We are there where it says you are here. Undercroft. Oh. That's called the Undercroft. Oh, gift shop there. It's really grand, isn't it? Freezing. 
it's actually it's actually just too cold to actually explore too much I think we're gonna do a quick zoom by the outside and then go find somewhere warm it's just I think it's like only one or two degrees just much too cold so we're within the walls of Dublin Castle we're not gonna do a tour just with the kids it's just yeah I think when they're a little bit older but it's beautiful and enjoying running around here even though it's freezing there's the 1030 tour about to start Yeah, I don't see the boys standing there and listening and it just there next time we come to Dublin we will be coming back. We will be back. We're waiting to come here. Fallon and Burn. Those are red bananas. Should we get one to try? Okay. What do you reckon? Does it be red inside? Well, we'll find out. Okay. Turns out the red bananas are for baking. So we won't be getting those because we go home tomorrow and we won't be able to take bananas into Australia. Greens. Lovely little store, isn't it? It's like a big health food store. Finished at Fallon and Burn, and now we're making our way to Grafton Street. truck is fast we can see Murphy's ice cream ice cream that knows where it's coming from if it wasn't so freezing we might try some but it's just too cold for ice cream isn't it we're a happy pair and we just passed it a happy man oh look at that Le Petit Parisien I think we're in the fancy part of town, don't you? With Louis Vuitton. Michelle Williams. Beautiful. We're now in Grafton Street. Pedestrian mall, lots of shopping. Much fancier shopping than north of the river where we've been. And we've stopped in for a spot of tea and a sandwich and some cake at MS rooftop on Grafton Street. Look at the view from here. Isn't it lovely? Yeah. We can kind of see down the Grafton Street. Because There's a view of the skyline. Because Hello. Because I love it. It's very cold and it's and freezing. So I we're stopping. It. We're walking and stopping and stopping and Maybe walking. It might snow, but not while we're here. It doesn't get. It's not going to be cold enough. Yep. We've got toasted cheese. And there's a whole MS food cafe. Right, we've just stepped into some Stevens Green. Stevens Green? And whoa, they're the biggest seagulls. And these people are feeding them. And they're sitting on them. I don't like birds much, and I'm not enjoying this. I think we're going to make an exit from the park. Oh my god, that one almost hit into me. <laughs> oh, <it's so> <laughs> 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 
be really pretty if it went for the crazy birds. Grafton Street over there. We've come all the way up Grafton Street. We had some peppermint tea and some cakes and things at MS. And that is some Stevens Green, Stevens Green Shopping Centre. That's Grafton Street over there. No, you shouldn't feed the birds, you're right. And there's a tram over here. This just reminds me of Amsterdam. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Little lady feeding the birds. They're on her feet. Oh, I couldn't cope with that. Really enjoyed our time in Dublin and I will be yeah, definitely gonna come back here. Now we're inside St. Stephen's Green Shopping Centre and there's shops. It's so light and airy with this roof and all of the greens. And there's a little food village. We're now in Trinity College. Trying to find our way to the library. Oh, it's too dark. And we're back at the River Liffey. That was the bridge we walked over earlier. And there's the spire just behind there. And oh, the river looks really high, doesn't it? Oh, maybe that's what it normally looks like. It's the first time I've ever been here. So that was a lovely walk. We're all completely exhausted and it was an amazing day. And we're going to go back to our hotel and have a rest and pack and get ready for our trip back to Australia. So that's all for me. Bye.